Okay, this is how it's gonna be today. Uh, I have a couple of hours left editing on the this week's episode, so uh, I'm going to make a short version of it, uh, and then I'm going to make a longer version the next week. So uh, I'm just recording this uh, like intro, uh, so you know because there is a couple of hours editing left and I won't be able to finish it today. It's pretty late already, so uh, short version of this episode, longer version uh, on the same topic next week. So, yeah. Project Vayner episode 17. Today I'm going to show you the process behind the tutorials that I make. My plan here is to make a new tutorial, which I haven't done for like a couple of months because I've been doing other videos. So I'm going to go through that and speak about what I do and maybe show uh, parts of the screen recording to, to show it even better. So first of all, I go into notes on the computer and there I have a note called tutorials and there I have written down a lot of different ideas on tutorials I want to make. So I'm going to do a Premiere Pro tutorial. So I found an idea I think I'm going to try out. So the first thing I do is that I, I search for that idea and see what results I get. And it's how to paste clip on the right track. And what I'm looking at when I'm searching the title is how many similar videos are there? Uh, is there any similar video? And what's the keyword score? And that's something that you can search when you have the tool TubeBuddy, which I have. And I really recommend everyone who wants to grow a bigger YouTube channel to use TubeBuddy. And sometimes if it's a bad result, I can try another title, another version of the same problem. But this time we're going with this title, I think. And then the next thing I do is I copy the folder from the last tutorial that I made. So I copied the last tutorial folder and now I'm going into folder number one uh, script. And there I have a pages document where I write down what I'm going to say in the video. And as I'm writing, I'm trying to read what I'm writing. Uh, so I know which word that I need to pronounce to make it more, to make it more clear what I mean and what's the like things to focus on in each sentence. And then I'm looking through the clips that already exist on this subject. Uh, so I search them up on YouTube and I see if it's any important stuff that I missed. So just trying to make the best tutorial possible by getting as much information about this uh, problem as possible. Okay, so now I'm about to start the recording and uh, recording this with QuickTime since it's free and it's it's very easy to do. So I open up QuickTime, I go to File and New Screen Recording. I'm also going to use a mic. So I just use this one. And I use it because it's really cheap. And uh, I just put this in my phone. And then I actually take this on my cup of coffee, like this. And then put it in front of me. Also, when I record to my phone, I use the Road app. You can hold down Shift while clicking to select, deselect all tracks. It will paste it to the track closest to the middle. Hope this video helped you. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then I choose the recording on my phone. I go to Share and uh, SoundCloud. And then I choose Format MP3. Downloadable, private share with SoundCloud. I feel that this is the fastest way of doing it, even if I can share it to Dropbox and send a link and yeah. Now when I can see the recording on SoundCloud, I go to more and then download. And since this is tutorial number 14, I name it to 14 video and 14 audio. And then I copy it to each folder the number two video and the number three audio. And then I open up the Premiere Pro project. So now when we're inside Premiere Pro, this is the last tutorial because I just copied the folder. So I will keep that for now. 
I will go into the video folder. I will import the video. Drag it down and then I will delete this old one. And I will import the audio. Drag that down and delete the old one. And the first thing I do here is I go to the voice recording. I hit G and then I go down to normalize all peaks and put it to minus three. I select the video and the audio and then I go to clip and down to synchronize. Because I recorded as I did that I did something then changed to Premiere Pro did something I know that I will have like uh, audio parts and then video parts and then audio parts so it's easy to just cut between and then take away these things so it's go it's easier for me in the editing process Now when I've cut it down to 34 seconds, which is pretty good for a tutorial, short and effective. Uh, and then I'm just going through it like this. I'm just taking away. And then just drag it to the beginning here. And now you can make the small adjustments. So let's see. So that looks pretty good and now I just have to add the beginning and the end and a soundtrack or audio track to it. Pasting something to the track you want. So I actually think this is it. So I just press I and O to select in point and out point and I drag it to the edges of what I want to export. So now we have a 45 second tutorial on how you can paste clips into the right track. So maybe I can put a card right here, I think it is. And you can see the final result of the, of the video.